welcome to the circuit to Catalonia for the final round of the 2017 International GT Open. There are still five combinations in contention for the title, so there's everything to race for this weekend. Let's have a look at the very best of what proved to be two very dramatic races. From pole position, it was Albert Costa who got jumped off the line by the Imperial Air Racing Lamborghinis as they surged towards Turn 1. Victor Bouveng also in the thick of the action. It's the huge field charged towards the first corner. It was Mapelli who took the advantage from Christian Engelhart behind the several cars round wide. Craig Dolby got caught in a skittle effect and sadly the Wessex vehicle's Lamborghini into the tyre wall and out of the race. The opening exchanges were typically frantic as Albert Costa sought to carve his way up through the field after losing some ground at the start and eventually was up into second in pursuit of Marco Mapelli as Duncan Tappy came together with Rinaldi Racing. Ferrari, meanwhile, Victor Bouveng, as he went to the pit stop, just misjudged his entry and that got he and Fran Raider a five-second penalty. So post-pit stops leading the way, it was Giovanni Venturini with Mikel Mack and Fran Rueda in close pursuit. Sadly, Philip Frommerville in the ML Frey Racing Lexus. The car suddenly stopping on him, bringing out the safety car and despair for Albert Costa as the championship cup charge came to a close. Meanwhile, there was some frenetic fighting in the Pro-Am class, which came to head as Pier Giuseppe Perizzini and Alain Cadet collided. So it was victory for Giovanni Venturini and Marco Mapelli, second, Mikel Mack and Miguel Ramos and third to Mario and Dominic Farnbacher. Fourth to Rueda and Bouven keeps them in the championship fight whilst third in the Pro-Am class is enough to give Sean Balf and Robert Bell victory in the Pro-Am championship. Actually, the Lexus had a bad start, so I get the position with you and Angler, and then I put the gap, but then safety car came, and so my gap was uh, back to zero. And then uh, in three, three, four laps, I get 1.8 seconds. Then the Lexus unluckily had a problem in the pit stop, and then I issue in, at, the, at the racetrack, so we had no we had the opportunity to stay in front. Another safety car came in, but Giovanni did an amazing job, and especially the team who prepared the car and finally we can give him, give them this win. And Giovanni, it's not uh, done, but you are getting closer. Yeah, we have to see it tomorrow, you know, but anyway, Marco did a mega job, especially in the start. Then passed me the car when uh, we were in P1 and I, ke I kept the, the leading, but another safety car uh, destroyed our, you know, an, our gap. But uh, at the end, I managed the, the pace. Our car was fantastic today, so enjoy the, this, this victory. Marty Motorsport BMWs locked out the front row of the grid for the final race of the season. It was Antonio Fitz de Costa who sprinted into the early lead, but the championship contending car of Fran Rueda got bounced down the order through the opening sequence as he lost out to Philip from Villa on the way into turn one. It was then pushed wide at turn two, and that opened the door to Mario Farnbacker to sneak through. Meanwhile, further around the first lap, Johnny Molum having a home together with Nono Figueredo, putting Molum out of the race and bringing the safety car out. That served to bunch up the field, and when we did get back racing, Rueda gambled all, looked to make the move on farm back, but it also opened the door to Andrea Caldarelli, who was able to jink through and ahead of the BMW. Fortunately for Mike Benham, it was a race that ended disappointment. That spin ended him in the gravel. Meanwhile, post pit stops, Marco Mapelli just had to guide the car up the order in order to net the points that he needed to secure the championship for Giovanni Venturini. And Mapelli, as is ever the case, did a fantastic job of achieving just that. It wasn't exactly pleasant watching for Venturini, but once Mapelli was able to move clear of Renat Salikov thereafter, he could ease away. This was the move that side the race. Albert Costa to the inside of Lorenzo Beirao to Viega late on as for Fran Raider, it all came to naught. So final win of the season for Albert Costa and Philip Frommavila, the Emil Frey Racing Lexus squad 
ending the year on a high. Second place to Lorenzo Bear out of Jaeger and Antonio Fitz to Costa with Marco Mapelli finishing in seventh. And that was enough to give the championship to Giovanni Venturini and the Imperiale Racing Lamborghini team. I think uh, after yesterday we deserved uh, this win. Um, the team worked so hard, amazing job. Uh, they worked, uh, I think, I, until two o'clock in the morning to, to make the car ready for today. So a uh, big thank you to them. Uh, I had a good start and then, uh, yeah, it, uh, I think we were flying. It was really amazing, amazing race and a good end of the season. Yeah, it's a compensation for the disappointment uh, yesterday. You lost the championship because of the uh, retirement before coming here we knew that uh, it was quite hard you know 14 points after the disqualify we get in spa was hard but uh, to be honest i spoke to him in, on Thursday and say mate if we are top three in the championship that will be really nice we are one car in the championship that we don't have teammates we have only another electric but from another car so yeah yesterday was very disappointing the mechanics as philip said we've been working the whole night really hard they were so tired all this morning but uh Today we compensate with the best qualifying of him and then he did a super mega star. I can't believe what he did, I, need, I have to learn from him. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, I make, uh, when I have the freeway, I push like, like never. I did a really fast laps in a row. I cut uh, Da Costa and Da Vega. And yeah, at the end I knew that BMW had uh, some degradation with the tires. So I wait, I wait and I say, it's time to push 10 minutes. I have to show it, bang. And then yeah, it was hard because the, 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 the weather was really warm. But, Happy, uh, first win of the season, last win of the season, so so happy next year, better and more. To be honest, I don't know what, uh, <laughs> what happened in the last two laps, because I, I closed my eyes and I, I waiting the, 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 the end, but at the end I'm, I'm champion of 2017, so thank you to Marco, thank you to Thomas Biaggi as well for the first part of the season, and thank you to all Imperiale Racing and of course Lamborghini. Scuola Corse, we did uh, a great job, it was a tough season, but at the end uh, we won. Thank you. Marco, you were a little bit stuck in your season. Oh yeah, with 25 second penalty and after uh, four laps of safety car, of safety car uh, well, you know, it's difficult all the time, but the team managed uh, you know, our penalty very well and we did the maximum today and the last season, so, and in all the seasons, so compliments to Imperiale, Giovanni and uh, Lamborghini.